So does that mean he's interested? I think that means he's interested. I think it could go either way. Because like a thumbs up means I'm interested. Hmm? Shades of gray. See that? It's pretty sweet. Sexy, right? Mm -hmm. It's being delivered to our crib on Friday. I'm taking a personal day. Whoa! We are supposed to coordinate our personal days. Also, how is it that you're gonna make such a huge purchase without consulting your boy? It was a tough decision, but it had to be done. I'm transitioning the feng shui of our apartment. Feng shui. What? Feng shui. Why are you doing that? That's what, it's how you say it, feng shui. That's how you say it? Yeah. So what? Point is, is that we've had this couch since sophomore year of college, and we've outgrown it. I've had three of my four most memorable sexual experiences on that couch. Exactly. Even more reason to get rid of it. Mm -mm, it's a landmark. Overruled. No, you can't. No, no over, overruled. Block. We do not have new furniture money, okay? Because we may be going to the lower school, might I remind you? Barely affording rent. Good afternoon, everyone. We have a very exciting announcement to share with you today. After many thoughtful discussions with the Board of Administrators, we have decided to move the fifth grade to the lower school. Oh, um, I guess I'll take questions now. Yeah, I'm just wondering, what's going to happen to those of us who teach both fifth and sixth grade? I volunteer myself to stay here in middle school. And I, too, just want to relieve you of any additional stress that you might feel in here. Oh, Diane, that's not really a time. Thank you so much. I just want to reiterate my commitment to demonstrating exemplary leadership. Sixth grade forever. Thank you. Let's move on to the next agenda item. Uh, we have here with us today Mary J. Henson, our head of diversity, and she's going to discuss with you a very exciting new initiative taking place in the next few weeks. Mary? Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, friends. I am so happy to be here today to discuss with you the Young People's Affinity Group spaces, which will be happening after spring break. Now, our goal is to provide a safe space for students to discuss issues of race and diversity here within Macklin. We'll be creating two groups, one group for people of color, those students who identify as black, Hispanic, Native American, other indigenous peoples, Caribbean, and also a white affinity group for those students who identify as white. Uh, Mary J, so you would like to have the middle school students divide themselves up based on their race to talk about racism. Exactly. That's fascinating. So these discussions would take place separately, but equally. Yes! Okay. Yes, separate but equal. It's our mantra. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, and, and who do you imagine would facilitate these groups? I would be happy to work with the white students. What? what? But you're not even white, you're Puerto Rican. Mm, no, I've been white this whole time. <laughs> no, you no. aren't. No, I've seen you salsa gracefully. Beautifully, in fact, breath, it took my breath away. Yeah. I got moves. You do, you do my fungo Mondays every Monday. Plantains, my favorite. Why is your grandma so small then? Okay, calm down, Poppy. You just finished calling me Poppy. The, 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 there was a time at happy hour when you said the N-word and we gave you a pass because we thought you were Puerto Rican. Only because you're Puerto Rican. I was quoting a song. It was out of context completely. So oh. if you're not Puerto Rican, we got to whip you. Well, that is all we have for today. Thank you all so much for your time and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Okay, thank you. Lamar, can I speak with you in my office? You want to see me? You want me to go? I want to see you in my office. So Lamar, as I'm sure you can imagine, will be interviewing a number of candidates for this new position. But before I take on any new faculty, I wanted to reach out to you and see if you would be interested in facilitating the new Young People of Color meeting. Huh. Well, I can see why you chose me. Yes. <laughs> and I got to tell you, Felicity, I'm, I'm flattered. Oh. Truly. Unfortunately, um, my schedule is quite booked up at the moment, and I don't know if I can take on a workload such as this at this time. 
Well, that's a shame because this is a position we're trying to grow here in the middle school. Grow at the middle school? And it comes with additional financial compensation? Well, now I'm interested. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> that is what I was hoping you would say. Well, I'm all about the dollars, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, aren't we all? <laughs> and the children. Too. Of course, of course, yeah. yes. Now, each candidate has to fill out a very rigorous application. <sighs> you want me to fill out all of this? No, of course not. Oh. Because <laughs> I was going to say, I didn't even know they made mine this big anymore. I had to look everywhere for one that size. <laughs> well, you found it. I did. <laughs> no, the actual application is far too long to print out. That's just the reading material. So you mean that there's, there's like more than this? Yes, the application is available online. You know, I'm thinking about something. What if we brought in like a secondary set of hands on this? You know, like a, like a, like an assistant, if you will. Someone like Frank Towns. Frank Towns? Yeah. I mean, why not? The more support, the better. I know. Yeah, Frank really enjoys like reading very dense text out he of a does. binder. That's a great special skill. Uh, yes, and he's a whiz when it comes to computer applications. Wow. So I'm gonna go ahead, take all of this, slide it down to him. Well, actually, you're gonna have to fill out the application yourself. <clears throat> Thank you for your time for the city. Thanks, Lamar. It was a pleasure until you made me have to do all this work.